this is really what we're going to focus on today. And then the second test has a very technical meaning. Accommodate social distancing. We have a lot smaller classes, which is really nice. Because you know, during class, if I'm trying to teach a subject, I can really check in and, and hear every single voice in the room. I think that they really appreciate having smaller classes. To have 10 kids max on, uh, when, everyone, when we're at a full house, I think that they really appreciate the extra attention. I think that there's a, a sense of urgency because you, know, you sat in your, in your house or, or your apartment or you know, trying to get work done in March and, and April and May and June. Now to be in school, I think there's a sense of gratitude that's really reflecting in the quality of their work. In the hybrid program that we have here, students are taking one hour of a class. They can take up to two classes per day and they're one hour each. And then they have some work that they have to do at home remotely where teachers have virtual office hours available. So they're kind of doing both. They're doing some here in person with the teacher and some at home. Students seem to be responding really well to the, you know, outside of the home accountability that they have, you know, when they're back in the classroom faced with a teacher and we have algebra, geometry, English at the various grade levels, environmental science, biology, and then U.S. and world history being offered in person. Click on the section that says Veterans Day, never forget their duty in your online Springboard textbooks. And anyone who needs assistance or has concern or an internet issue, raise your hand. Those whose hands are down, let me know that you found it. Summer school is something I typically do each year. I always enjoy getting a chance to see students in a smaller setting. I feel like this year is a little different. Everybody's a little apprehensive coming in, but everybody's getting a chance to work hard and everybody seems to really appreciate the fact that you can help them, which is so hard to do when you're all online. Everybody's been following the rules really nicely. Teachers are switching classrooms from their first class to their second class so that there's not any cross-contamination of students. There's no more than 10 students per class so that we can properly social distance and have all of those measures in place and so we only have um, up to 80 students in the building at a time. It's great to see the kids it's a little bit different because you know you can't shake any hands or you can't high-five walking in the room or you know you got to really stay you know in the front of the classroom um, so it's a little awkward in that way but you know it's been four, it had been four months or something three and a half months by the time that I saw kids again since uh, March 13th. It's not quite the same because, you know, a lot of communication is nonverbal and facial and to have everything cut off and to have myself and have the kids, you know, masked up, masked up. It's a little, a little awkward, but overall, it's great to be back. I'm still nervous about the fall, but, you know, it, I, I really appreciate, you know, I'm really enjoying uh, teaching summer school. One figure is similar to another if there's a sequence of ridge transformations and dilations that take the first 